guys. I hope that everybody's doing all right. I thank you guys so much for continuing to come and see little old me <laughs> and so much of the support and, and the efforts that you guys have put through and the encouragement. I'm so elated. I'm so happy. <laughs> you guys bring me such a joy that I can't even explain to you. It's so amazing. Um, so I just want to thank you guys first of all um, So I am on my way home And I just want to talk a little bit about the video that I'm either gonna put out before this or after this it, I, I'm not sure but Gosh, he, God has just called me to really talk about our time of wilderness and our time of isolation and our time of loneliness I guess is what we want to call it where God just singles you out and he separates you from everything and everyone and he puts you in a place where it's just you and him and you're learning and you're cultivating and you're being conformed to his to his to the likeness of his son and you're growing in your relationship and you feel like you're alone a lot of times and you feel like there's not a lot of people you can lean on or talk to or depend on or that you know, suddenly your friends have gone away, family members are falling off. It's just, like I said, a time of extreme isolation. And many of you guys know for years now, I would say since I started this channel, I have been in that time of isolation and in that period of seclusion where God has just kept me in a place where I have just been sheltered and I have been learning from Him and growing in Him and still you know conveying his messages but he was really really talking to me and really growing me in that time period and now he's released me in such a way to really deep 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 dive 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 deep into his word and to really share what he's been putting on my heart and in me to to convey to his people and that took a lot of time y'all and it's still taking time <laughs> it took a lot of discipline it took a lot of being alone it took a lot of being in his word and just because i am now releasing more profound messages does not mean that he's taken me out of the wilderness like i said I'm still in that wilderness place and I'm still in that time of isolation and I'm still waiting for God to bring those God-given friends and circle and people in my life. But what I learned in my time of wilderness is to give everything truly to God and to be in alignment with His will no matter what. He had to really cut off people, cut off things I was doing, things I was saying, circumstances I was in, and I'm still waiting for my divine deliverance still in a number of areas and situations in my life. But I encourage you guys to be encouraged in the Lord if you're still in that place and you feel like you're alone. It is all for His divine reasoning and his divine purpose for you and it's gonna do nothing but help you and grow you and cultivate your relationship with him and your closeness with him and you're gonna hear from him and you're gonna be used by him in such a divine way so hold on hold on it's all worth it it's all gonna be worth it don't think that you're used damaged or that you're that you're damaged and you're forgotten no it's quite the opposite god is fixing to use you in a profound way just keep holding on keep growing keep learning keep praying keep getting in god's word keep listening to him and writing everything down in your notebooks and you know it, it, it's it's a beautiful time but like i said it does feel like you're alone it feels like, you know, when is this going to end? When am I going to have a friend? You know, <laughs> kind of thing. But hold on, hold on. It had it was the it was the best time God could have ever given me and continues to give me. It was a great gift onto him to bring me closer to him and to release me to do a great wonder for him with my voice you know one thing that I told you guys that I thought was powerless and everyone tried to take away from me the enemy tried to use people to take it away from me 
he he tried everything to take my voice away but I now know that my voice is going to be used so powerfully and so profoundly and so strongly in the kingdom of God so I've got to continue to grow in him we've got to continue to grow in him it's an absolute blessing for your time of isolation and loneliness and where you've just been singled out to be in that in that box you know <laughs> but um, just like Paul did you know he was in isolation for 14 years before God released him for his ministry Jesus didn't get his ministry started until he was in his 30s so you know we 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 have to allow God to do what it is that he needs to do in us and remove what it is he needs to remove from us and away from us and those things that we were still holding on to in the world and those people we were still holding on to them in the world and those situations that God never called us to in the world he needed to weed all of that out and he really needed to refine us to conform to him so that we can be in the likeness of his son so that we can do a work a tremendous work for his kingdom so it wasn't just for you it was for his people it was for you to call lost souls to him you know your purpose you gotta realize in that is bigger than you you know it's way bigger than you and it's way bigger than you ever expected it to be it's gonna take God in order to walk in that call and to walk in that purpose that he has for you so you have got to hold on and you've got to get through this you're gonna get through it you know but it's just gonna it's gonna take more time than you think it is you know you got to have patience You've got to be patient with God and know that he is doing a work in you. So hold on, hang out. <laughs> your purpose and your call is bigger than you ever expected it to be. Stay encouraged, be strong, be courageous. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a good day. Bye.